don't spot you. Turn, turn over here, man. Yo! What's good, everybody? We got a special video today. We're going to the lowest, to the highest rated food spots in Lafayette, Louisiana. We do a Cajun and soul food spots. And of course, y'all, we got my boy, Fit the Cow, in the building, the food specialist himself. You know why I'm here. We in my city, bro. You know I know good food. So if anybody gonna show my man what to eat and my boy Jay for the first time, because you know you ain't taste some of this Cajun. It's me. Let's get it, man. Now, y'all know I've been searching high and low for the best ticketing prices, and SeatGeek has us covered. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one ticketing app on the market. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With the NFL, NBA, and the NHL in full swing, you don't want to miss out. SeatGeek has your tickets to every single game. Now, let me show you this right here personally, y'all. Y'all see I selected the Lakers at Knicks, right? So all I'm going to do to get a good price, I'm going to go to the green. Green means good and red means bad, obviously. And guess what? It actually shows you exactly where you're going to be at. That's how I get my tickets. You see, the big thing I like about SeatGeek, y'all, is that every ticket is actually backed by their buyer. Guaranteed. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets. Yes, your tickets. Ahead of the event with swaps and that's why i like so much about this app and you know i'm always comfortable with you guys use my code cash right here for 20 dollars off of your tickets at SeatGeek. so ladies and gentlemen that's 20 dollars off your first purchase using my code cash down below in the description make sure you download SeatGeek app right there thank you SeatGeek, for sponsoring this video see y'all next one this right here is the lowest rated spot and it's 3.8 on Yelp. I wish I could give this place zero stars. Damn. Food is insanely overpriced for its quality. One thing I have noticed is that they put way too much spice in their food. Red flag, when they put too much spice, it's to cover up the terrible quality. That can't be my people, man. Nah, that's my. That, I, 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 we love, you know, we love spice out here. Telly's is terrific, absolutely a must when you're in town. We stopped in on a Sunday afternoon to dine in the smoking hot barbecue. That must have been one employees. <laughs> So, oh, oh, it's a store. It's oh, okay. about to hold it. Oh, we got, got out. Tap it in the hold it so it don't move. That's the one. So there's no paper? Uh, uh, they normally write it on there, but you know, it's a CPT. I'm gonna ask you a question, man. So, you go to fix right here a lot? Yeah. I'm pretty good. I really like the chicken and waffle. That's, that's mainly what I get. At 5 o'clock? Oh wait, so is it the whole menu open or just or is that the special? Like, yeah, they got daily items and shit. Like if you go on the if you go on the menu on their app on the Instagram, they got like daily items that, that you know, they got chicken and waffles, oh, it's, it's, uh, you know, just like they special day in there. But they don't like post like the daily items, but if like you ask what the daily items are, they'll tell you. Like the chicken and waffles. Like, yeah. Not even two minutes. Yeah, not even two minutes. The plate already here and hot. Yeah. We got the exact same thing, huh? Guys, my man. Oh man, three three fat scoops, man. Enjoy the ice cream scoops. All right, y'all. So it's kind of dark enough, so I'm gonna do my taste sample outside. Somebody black back there, man. Yeah. For that's sure. what I like to hear, man. For sure. That's what I like to hear. You do? Yeah. Uh huh. That's good, too. Park man, the cheese good? <laughs> you having a breakdown right here. I live my mama back there cooking, bro. Is that good? It's delicious, man. I would marry that lady back there, man. Bro, stop. Come on, man, look. Look how, look how tender the meat look off of the end is hot. He eat like he owed that lady a thank you back there, man. This is the least rated spot. The least. The least rated spot in Lafayette, Louisiana, y'all. Was it just 3.8? Yeah. 3.8. Right. I know it ain't low because the food quality, man. Don't forget about the yam, my boy. You gotta, you gotta give them the whole thing. They ain't miss on nothing. 
Bro, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a black and mild. A what? A black and mild. Uh, uh, is that good or bad? Good. Good. The cognac one. Say less. Flavor. Gotcha. I, I felt it immediately. Man. I felt it immediately. The cognac black and mild. Look, just to let y'all know, um, yeah, we didn't end up finishing the video today. <laughs> because they gave us so much extra food from the first place. So much extra food, we gotta show our appreciation. Come on! Man. No. Hard times, you think we about to waste this? Come on, uh, man! We ain't gonna force the whole film one day. One day, no, but well, we ain't gonna forget about y'all neither. We still gonna do them other two, them two other two spots, we got y'all. But we just Come gotta on. taste this what, what it is. What will y'all do, man? Will y'all trash this right here or, or leave leave it leave it to just sit in here and, and, and don't get eaten up? That's why I know Nobody, nobody, no one that's hungry people out there, bro. Come on, y'all. 100%. We're we just gonna come back to, uh, to the video tomorrow because this right here was too delicious. Shout out to Tellers. The hospitality was crazy. So we'll start back tomorrow. All right, y'all. So we at the second best spot in Lafayette, Louisiana. And this right here is called Soul House Kitchen. Soul House is rated 4.5 on Yelp. And look at the reviews. This was our first stop here, maybe our last. When we said first time here, please give us a minute to read your menu. They sent someone out to help suggest items. I felt rushed. I ordered fish and fries. What, whatever, man. They, they, they gave them two stars. It's always that's like crazy. That's a carrot. Yeah, I feel like Sandy they were just trying to be polite. Like, exactly I feel like they were just trying to be polite. You know, like, you know, we don't want you waiting too long. The staff and food was amazing. Okay. Highly recommended. Everything on the menu will be back for more. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I need to hear. Let's go, Jay, man. This might be a broader menu than the other places we went to because this kind of caters to what we serve out here. As you can see by that crawfish on the front right here, man. At the last smile, he gonna have. Oh, what the Now we gonna smile. Yeah, now we smiling. It's our turn. What would you recommend, man, for a newcomer? Honestly, I mean, my personal favorite and I'd say the gross selling for like the days that it's served would be the meatball stew. But the red bean and rice is also very popular as well. Which, you know what you but want? To be honest with you, whatever your soul is telling you, that's what you should go with. And that's why I call Soul House, huh? So you one thing, it ain't the best hospitality. I ain't gonna, you know, dismiss, you know, their food, but just, ooh, oh, man, man. Careful. You see that? Oh, oh man. Extra crispy. Oh man. Oh man. This yours right here. Oh, Jay. Jay, I'm gonna need a small piece. Oh. I never had your uh, ribs from over here. Just man, small. It's not your shit. Are you, you, yeah, you want to Man, tell me it's your shit. Tell us yours, man. Tell him no. Hey, bro, we can trade, Jay. Jay. I don't want that. That's disgusting. Thank you. Disgusting. That was disgusting. So we finally got our food. Jay, you, you didn't like the first place. It was all right. Me and Malcolm told everything up. Leftovers and extra, everything. We went back nibbled on yours too. I know. I yeah. see. That's the south, baby. I seen that face. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna be honest, that's the best mac and cheese I've ever eaten in my whole life. I'm not even lying. I don't like this face. Of course you're gonna start with the Mac. Mm. What's up, bro? Talk to me, man. Okay. So good. How's the fish? You, you got a uh, double, no extra crispy, huh? Yeah, make sure show them the name on that, please. This ain't coming from Texas. It's not from Jamaica. It's ain't from Africa. Louisiana. Louisiana. Jay. This barbecue is so good. Oh my gosh. That's why you didn't even know it's barbecue. What about man? I'm gonna be honest. Go ahead, be all the way real, man. It ain't the best tasting. It ain't the what? It ain't the best tasting we, we went through so far. I just, I gotta be, just gotta be real, man. It is. What, what, so you think right here the best one? This is the best one. This is like a, a solid 9.5 out like of 10. There you go, G. Speak your truth, man. While me and you, cause we, we Southerners, man, I have tasted way better crawfish or toothpaste than this. I have. I had it before. So you said the, the fish is good, right? This is like it's been made already, and they had it in a pot and kept it froze and they reheated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the macaroni did too. The beans are fresh, and the catfish is. Uh, so what'd you rate it? Out of ten. Telly's, which was rated how, how much? Uh, three point eight. Way better tasting food than this. Oh, you know, Jay didn't like it because it was spicy. He, he don't like the spice. 
cooked in somebody black. It was cooked. It was cooked. It was cooked. Great. It was cooked. Ain't no black people. Jake, let me. You want to come back here? Nah, I ain't come back. For real? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the other spot. I mean, just man, I gotta be honest, bro. An eliminated too. It's actually really good. Oh, really good? Yes. Eight and a half. Well, I got the wrong plate, then. I mean, I'm gonna eat it now. Come on. So, did you give yours out of trim? Oh, my, my, my plate, I think I give it a 6.5. 6.5? Good job, man. My boy should tan that, that catfish up after with the hot sauce on it to say it's a six and a half, ain't it, though? I think it's, I think it's gonna make all that disappear before we get out of here. Yeah. The, the catfish? Yeah. I come from hard times. Maybe not the whole plate, but that catfish? The extra crispy that he put on that? That's not gonna make it out of the dough. I don't think the claw making that dough either. Nah, I'm about to crack him. So we're front of Shape Backs, and this right here is 4.2 rating. They're right here on close to what? <laughs> Six in the morning? About four, five in the morning. <laughs> we had to just wait till everybody stop parking a lot of people with that music loud to put the camera on, man. So y'all can hear us talk. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out <laughs> what was the Zaza element of my fries. Oh, 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 hey. Low, hey, low key. The fry tasted like a freezer. The cheese was gluing the fries together. I had to get a real fork because the plastic fork couldn't pull through the cheese. <laughs> I had to get a real fork because the plastic fork not strong enough. All right, that's crazy. It's a positive one. <laughs> shake back, shake them back. Uh -uh. You tried. My people. Man. This is my place. Uh, Y'all, I love me some shape bags. What you like, Jay? Uh, oh, Jay, Jay, Jay. That one. Dude, oh, we doing this in the, we doing this in the shop. Yeah, we doing it here. These look dry, man. These look rushed, rushed up, man. Where yours at, man? Well, that's the, that ain't me. Is that, is that gravy? No, Jade is not that gravy, man. <laughs> gravy and funnel fries. Wait, wait, is that supposed to be syrup? That is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can't explain that. Oh, oh. It really looks like gravy. Yeah, is I that can't. Really? That's syrup. Uh, huh, this is how the food look. How much is it right here, Jay? 4.6? 4. 4. The rating? Okay. 4.2? Not bad. Ball of fries not bad? They're not bad at all. Oh, we can put all these down. This is good. The food good. Chicken up. This is good, right? I know the, the dim is good. What is this? Who's good? That might be what? Huh? Not spit it back in the plate? Yeah. Ew, okay. Chicken. Worst spot we ate so far, bro. Wow. Yeah. And it's crazy because the other spot was the lowest one, and so far as me, it's the best one. It's beignet, right? Huh? Uh, beignet. What is that? Too bad, ain't eh? right? Why you trying to give it a pass? I don't think it's too too bad. I, I, I could eat this. I mean, yeah, we can eat it. Yeah. Got stripes in there. It just, it just, it got the stripes in there. Damn, Rupert. No, no ranch, no nothing, bro. They good, man. I go to the next spot. All right, y'all, so we at the highest rated soul food, seafood place in Lafayette for boudin and, and crackling. Crack yes, sir. Yes, this sir. Right here is Billy's. I was just go to this right here all the time when I was going through college. Y'all about to see exactly what it is in here. Y'all look it up on GPS, bro. The numbers will be nice. You know, y'all check it out for yourselves. Stay tuned. I finally tried Billy's. I sampled many items. I enjoyed it. It was good. I don't think it was my top choice for boudin and crackling, but good. Okay. All right. That's one rate. This is a five star right here. First time here, and the line was long. It don't look too yeah, long today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect that. We went inside, looked around, and decided to order the drive through since we had little kids. It was about a 30 minute wait. God damn! But the boat and cracker was delicious. Definitely be packed. That's all I need to hear. Man, that's, that's all I need to hear. I heard delicious. Yeah, we're gonna get this right here, man. Yeah? Yes. Man, they got crawfish quail eggs. What the? He Pickled like chicken eggs. Oh, bro, this is. This, is, this place is upgraded. This man. gold for you, huh? Oh, my 
that shit they got a gator pickle. <laughs> That'd be nice just to just have in the back of the kitchen too. Yeah. That, that, no, I know you're gonna use it. I know you're gonna use it. It's gonna be empty. I know you're gonna use it. You're not gonna see no king cakes in California or nowhere else, man. This right here actually originated out here in Louisiana where we celebrate Mardi Gras. There's a plastic baby inside, so when they cut the cake and whoever finds the baby gotta get the next king cake. So real thing. I always get the baby in school. Mom and dad couldn't really, you know, get the fun. <laughs> Do it so, so it's so all get, the key came part I never had the baby. Of cash. <laughs> oh, so you never, oh, you never admitted yeah, I had the baby. I had the baby one time, but I, <laughs> I had the baby. I got it, but I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Oh, I, I know. Mom and dad could have bought it, man, but I ain't want to go ask them, man. Come on, man. Put the extra tab on the table for what? Look at this. I got, you know, I got meat fetish, bro. You know that, bro. I, I, I love looking at this shit, man. What's good, though? Hey, you working? Yeah, Obviously. Do me a favor, though. Talk to us, man. What's y'all number one item here that sells the most? Everyday balls. Jack, balls. And we'll do regular crackers and chicken crackers. Can't wait till you taste one of these, Jay. Remember how you was talking to us in Cali? Some of my food trucks? Do we got, like, uh, can we sprinkle a little cheese? Cheese, please. Y'all rookies, man. Just a little bit of I'm sorry that I'm not uh, the same ethnicity group as you, Jay. I'm about to see what's up now. All right, y'all. So this right here was under like $30. Pickled eggs and with the pickled uh, gator. Gator. <laughs> gator pickles. Some shit. Gator pickles. And we got about half a pound of chicken cracklings and three pepper jack boiled. This right here is the best sellers out here. So this is the most highest rated spot out here in Lafayette, Louisiana. So you know it's smacking, bro. I, oh, I already know. God damn, man. Delicious, man. I already know what it's hitting on. Like another day at the office for me. <laughs> yeah. Chicken cracker. Rusty cracker. Stand on your feet, everybody. Raise those hands. Crazy, huh? That looks good. Come on, go ahead. Let's go around too. This Jay first time I ever tried any type of Cajun food. And this is just some on this is just some on the go type stuff right here. That's very good. Man, okay. I, I, I'll tell them to say they the most highs on, on yep. Yeah. We got new people coming home every week. You be getting people from far, how far oh, we yeah. Texas, California, everywhere. Just everywhere. for the deliciousness. That we take for granted every day out here. Mm, mm, mm. Alright y'all, so finally I'm about to rank my experiences, taste. It's not gonna be, I say like, you know, how they do it on Yelp, like one out of five stars. I'm just gonna be like one, two, three, four. Coming at fourth place. And it wasn't even the least rated one. Soul House. And this right here is the second highest on Yelp with 4.5. I didn't like their food. Uh, the inside was all right. Uh, hospitality straight, but uh, the, the food wasn't the best. You know, I ate it all. So they, they fix up the, the, the food, they, they got you? Everything yeah. else was okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for number three, I'm at to go with Shape Back. It's a good little spot because it's open late at night. Mm -hmm. But I mean, for their plate dinners, bro, uh, I don't really see a lot of like dinners, man. It's more, it's more like a little snack hut, hat hut to me, you know? Everything had fries. The fries? It, it, just, it just, everything else, like it just. Piled on top? Piled on top, bro. They have I, a few desserts I like, so. I'm, with cool, fries. With, I'm cool with them coming in there. With fries at the bottom. And guys, please keep in mind, these are not like. We didn't go to every place, right? There's more places, but this is the places that we went at the times that was over. Second is going to have to be the highest rated spot, which is Billy's. For me, the booty and balls. Oh, man. That, that was chicken delicious. Crackers. Oh, yeah. The, I, the, uh, the chicken crackers. I couldn't stop picking at it, bro. I could eat that all day. That Bye, was delicious. Bro. But the only thing was down for is just, just the hospitality. They had the hospitality there, you know. It's it was crazy. You like the food, but it's the people. And then they had good people at so house. Some people glad food. to work. Some people don't don't be happy to go true, to work. True, you know? true. So. And number one, which was the least rated. Crazy. That's crazy. It had to be Telly's. Man. Why would it be least rated? I liked it everything. I the people. The they had a nice setup in there. The vibe was good. The food was delicious. They showed us love. They took a picture with us. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, you we, can't got, be we, we had like three or four boxes left when they gave us extra Plenty chicken to go waffles. Home. Uh, what else it gave us? We had the uh, fried pork chop with the fries. Fri with the fries, yeah. You, you ate my stuff, man. I did. What you want me to waste it? And a video. Man. You want me to waste it? I, I know I missed something, bro. Good money for the food. I'm supposed to just let it go to the trash, bro. You know me before today, bro. That's crazy.